All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at New 4J Summit. Uh, super excited to be with uh, one and only Asus uh, from New 4J. Asus, uh, just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do at New 4J. Absolutely. So great to have this conversation with you, Robert. So it's fantastic. So I'm, I'm, I'm Jesus, Jesus Barraza. So I'm the, the, um, the field CTO for AI with Neo 4 j So what that means is that I'm basically in the field. I'm working with customers. I'm, I'm, yep. I'm especially focusing on those who are combining our technology with LLMs to build AI-backed applications. So that's, that's what I do. I've been doing graphs for many years. I've been with the company for 10 years. So lots wow. of, you know, whole career, a whole history of graphs and, and you know, super excited to be in the, probably the, the coolest, the hottest space in, 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 in data. So and true. These days. So true. Fantastic. Uh, since you've been, obviously, for years you've been doing graph, I'm pretty sure you've seen the evolution happening. But at the same time, now we are in this agentic AI world, the Gen AI world, the AI, everyone's excited about it. I'm definitely interested to know, because you talk to a lot of customers, uh, would love to know what they think, what are their challenges, how are you all solving it. But before getting into that, tell us more about how, what's Neo4j doing in the agentic space? Uh, how are you all uh, helping also customers implement AI or at least first educate them and then we can get more into the weeds of you know implementation. Of course, and I, I wanted to mention and, and reiterate maybe some other uh, speakers have talked to you about this, this huge you know, investment that Emil has announced today. So we're really making this a strategic initiative for us. So it's key. We, we, we see that there's a, from the moment LLMs you know, broke into the you know the the, the news and, and and become you know the the hottest thing in, yep. in in data back you know what three years ago now, people immediately associated this technology with uh, with graphs in the sense that okay these models are amazing these LLMs can do things that were unthinkable before but they need an additional element of trust of of you know control in a way True. otherwise we need to to um, also inject somehow our enterprise knowledge into them. So, and, mm. and, and this association of, of LLMs with graphs has, has driven you know, huge interest. And we see loads of customers, we're gonna talk more about them uh, combining the two technologies. So we are uh, making this huge investment in that space. And that's gonna, that has three, three main fronts. One is we wanna make the first, Neo4j the best platform to build agentic solutions. Mm -hmm. Second one, we want to, uh, uh, give you all, all, all the integrations to make it easy for you to yep. build solutions with whatever the framework, whatever the, the technology you're, you're, uh, you're applying to it. And the third one is we have a strong focus as well in, in startups. So we want uh, early startups that are combining these two technologies to come to us and to benefit from our startup initiative. We have a program that's just started, that has got a lot of attention. So these are the three main fronts that have been announced today by Emil and, uh, and, and that's the space where I'm, where I'm working on a daily basis. So uh, that's, that's awesome. Uh, uh, thanks for reiterating those announcements. So uh, I did see that today morning and I uh, was blown away with uh, how fast the space is moving but how Neo4j is very much focused to help their customers to get to the next level in the agent space as well. Uh, talking about customers, uh, I know you've been in and out talking to a lot of customers and uh, chatting a lot about agent AI and you know uh, the AI space in general as well. And how does Graph and agent AI come together? Tell us more about uh, what are customers talking to you and what are they uh, feeling in terms of the challenges as well when they work in the agent AI space. Sure. So the the first one, like I said at the beginning, is is they they need a kind of a trusted partner to the LLM. Exactly. They need to, to, to present the data in an AI ready way. For sure. And and, uh, and we're seeing that graphs give you exactly that. So and, and to me this kind of AI readiness and, and I know it's something that's been talked about by the Gardner analyst uh, in one of the sessions this yep. morning is presenting it in a way that's as easy as possible to to retrieve by agents. Because ultimately agents are gonna be accessing your data and sometimes that's gonna mean vector search. Sometimes it's gonna be it's gonna mean text to structured query. Sometimes it's gonna mean so some true. kind of hybrid retrieval. Yep. And and the great thing in the, the compelling thing about Neo4j is that you get the two type the two main types of, of knowledge representation, which is the more implicit based on vectors, plus the more explicit, which is the graph. The, the, the one based on traversals. Yep. And uh, and that's what's attracting organizations. They 
they get early to the game and then they try with vectors uh, and, and they, they realize shortly after that, yeah, that's a good starting point. But the moment the tasks get a bit more complex and you have to start connecting bits of information, so yeah. it becomes you know, more complicated and the quality goes down. And that's where graphs give you this extra boost, an extra uh, uh, element of quality. And that's what we're trying to, to help our customers implementing. And the, the, the kind of technique is graph rag, but it's, it goes beyond that. Uh, and, and we more than happy to talk about it. So things like uh, agentic memory, uh, you know, mm, framework definition. Exactly. So this yeah. graphs are in, in, in every area of, of these new agentic architectures. Fantastic. Uh, you give us a very good insight into, you know, how graphs and agentic solutions kind of work together and what sort of challenges do customers also see. I'm kind of also curious to hear from you, what advice would you have for those enterprise leaders out there who are wanting to work with graphs but also make sure that they have agentic AI in place because now things can be faster. Uh, sometimes it's also where you don't need to be an expert or you don't need to be super technical about things, but you can still get those results very quickly. So how yeah. does, what would you yeah. be your that's, advice? That's a very, very interesting point and it's true that, uh, that Gen AI has lowered the barrier to adoptions to so many technologies. But I think, you know, at, at, we can think of it at different levels. At the, at the, at the kind of more leadership level, I would say you need a, you need a clear vision. Yes. So there's a strategic, you know, you know, you must understand where this yep. technology is going to make an impact to your business. So for, you know, quite a while we, we've seen organizations experimenting, trying things. I mean, let's, let's, Build a chatbot, which was the default thing. Exactly. But I think what, what, where impact really happens is when you understand, you know, which processes in your uh, specific to your business can be accelerated, can be made more efficient, can be made better. So that that's that sort of high level uh, analysis of how the technology maps your business is key. And then you need to enable your, your teams. You need to, to to learn about graphs. And there's you know plenty of ways of doing that, but I would definitely recommend people going to our Graph Academy, and that's the, probably the best starting point. That's uh, that's uh, kind of a self-paced collection of, of nice. assets that nice. take you through the journey of not only learning about graphs, but learning how they combine and, and, and integrate with with LLM. So I would that's very look helpful. at it from the two points. Yeah, uh, that's very helpful. Talking about you know educating yourself, I know uh, you, Stephen, Michael, are coming up yeah. with a book as well. Oh yeah, yeah uh, It's very true, much early true. in the stage. I, I don't know if I should be <laughs> already talking about it but I thought okay well, this is my opportunity to you know absolutely. ask a little bit about the book that you all are coming up with and O'Reilly is publishing is that's tell, right. tell us a little bit about it's that. very very good timing because it was only yesterday I believe that uh, uh, O'Reilly released the first uh, two chapters oh, so, nice. they're public. Okay. so okay. that's that's really good so, and a super exciting project that I'm, I'm working on with uh, with Michael Hunger that I think you talked to with Steve Chin which is the, our uh, the head of, of DevRel and yeah it's focused on, on, on graph rag we like the, the definitive guide on, on graph rag but we want to share you know best practices around this 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 approach to integrating LLMs with knowledge graphs and yeah it's super exciting it's uh, you know another task on top of the, you know the many <laughs> that we have. it and just helps the community a lot to be absolutely. honest these and, 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 no, this books is, Super rewarding, and, and 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 you know you get so much from 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 this kind of effort that it's totally worth it. So I'm uh, yeah, I think it's gonna and be, um, because you talk to a lot of customers, you also have like a lot of practical use cases that you can bring to the table, and I'm pretty sure that will also help a lot of enterprise leaders, the users, the developers who can yeah. you know go back and uh, when you three guys are together doing it, it just helps us to get a point of view of three different directions. Uh, not only just a product point totally. of view, developer point of view, and then you bring up the practical use cases. And right? I, I like the you know the O'Reilly books because they're very practitioner, practitioner focused. Practitioner focused. And and, uh, and to me, there's no difference. You're totally right. I mean, what what you will see in the book is kind of a distilled version of what I see in the field and talking to customers. So, so true. It, it you have to keep it real. You have to and 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 uh, yeah, you, you're right. I mean, these these uh, uh, experience from the field is fundamental to to yes. to create content that's that's relevant and, and, and useful for others. So. Love it. Uh, shifting gears a little bit towards the future. Sure. Uh, I know we are in the space where things move very quickly and who better than you would know because you're talking to all the customers and they're like, uh, they might be asking all the different questions. So tell us more about what do you think, uh, how the space will be moving uh, in future. Mm -hmm. I'll let you decide the timeline because sure. uh, we move very quickly. So tell us more. Okay, so I'm going to, of course, keep a very, you know, graph-centric. Uh, Please do. Uh, well, yeah, we would love you that. A, a graph-centric answer. <laughs> yes. But I, I, you know, I, I see graphs, and we, we normally focus most more on uh, make sure that you 
get your enterprise data, AI ready, put in, sure. a, in a graph, present it in a connected way so that uh, uh, agents get the most of it. But I think there's, th that's one leg of the agentic future. There's two others, and, and, and one is, mm -hmm. uh, Emil talked about context, and, and, and one important angle of context engineering is, is the, the, the whole agentic memory. Every so agent is going to have to, is going to have a managed memory. So, uh, and we see that as a very graphy problem. And we already mentioned a couple of companies that are taking that focus and actually building products on top of Neo4j that manage the, the, the memory of agent. This is an entirely, you know, solution or agent independent. Every agent needs a memory. And, so and, uh, and determining what's, I mean, just basically build the graph without you knowing that there's a graph being built behind the scenes. So just based on your interaction with an LLM or whatever your application does, these systems will determine what's worth remembering, how it relates to previous memories. Yep. How do you kind of, uh, you know, maintain that over time and then how do you use it to provide even more meaningful so and more relevant answers. So based on, on what I know about you. So the, the whole memory side of things is, is one, one angle. And then the, the, the third one is the, the, the formalization of workflows. Now agents interact with each other and, and delegate tasks to other agents. So capturing how that delegation happens, how these kind of execution of complex tasks happen, and uh, doing sort of process mining on it. So I, an agent delegates a task to another agent, another and, agent and then right. the result is not satisfactory. So knowing that in the past it wasn't, maybe changes the way we deal with the same task in the next, uh, in the next so opportunity. True. So yeah. And again, there is a graph behind that. So this kind of sequence of operations and how these uh, tasks are delegated. So, I see graphs as being the substrate of, of the whole agentic future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So not just holding your data, but holding your memory, your context, and also helping you optimize the way these kind of operations of, of, of agents take place. So I, I really see a very graphy future in the in the in, in the agents. So yeah, so that's uh, that's a, a very exciting uh, exciting one, and and and. And really happy to be part of it and to to be engaged with customers trying to to make that a reality on a day you know on a daily basis fantastic uh, these are fantastic insights um, one last question for you is so if people want to reach out to you uh, learn more about the different things you and the team are doing uh, where can they do linkedin x What's linkedin is a, is a, i mean i'm not so active in x uh, but uh, linkedin probably would be a good way there's only only one jesus in, in neo 4 for now <laughs> so it should be easy if you go to jesus at neo 4 i'm also reachable there but you know probably linkedin i would say is the, the easiest way to get hold of me so well this was amazing uh, it was such fun chatting with you learning more about agentic ai what customers are thinking the problems uh, that customers are facing, like the challenges, and how are you all solving, and how graphs are playing a very important role in the agent AI space, and also about your book. So yeah, excited exciting. about that. We'll keep a tap on the book when it kind of goes out, and we'll also share a link with our audience of the two chapters, Absolutely. which are already released. But congratulations one again for uh, all the great work that uh, you and new 4 j team are doing. Fantastic. Such a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for joining us today.